Keeping the focus on forensic nursing, it's the newest section in the American Academy of Forensic Sciences. Having long been a part of the general section, this discipline is now its own section, garnering the attention it deserves within the forensic science community. Sylvia Perez is here now with more on this most recent addition. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, happy to be here. So first of all, as we mentioned, it is the newest section. What does this mean to be recognized as a standalone section by the AAFS? Being recognized as the 12th section of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences is a milestone acknowledging evidence-based practice of forensic nursing science, as well as the health and welfare of the patients that the forensic nurses serve. What are some of the biggest challenges in forensic nursing? A couple of challenges in forensic nursing are the dissemination and the establishment of forensic nursing worldwide in response to human violence and human rights violation. Another challenge is support and collaboration with other disciplines. While the health and welfare of living victims is a priority, forensic nurses also balance the precision of evidence-based preservation impacting the work of criminalists and the judicial process. So we know that one of the biggest challenges facing forensic nursing is the issue of rape kits and how they're processed. What steps are being taken to make sure that they are being tracked and processed correctly? Tracking rape kits has been a hurdle for the entire forensic science community. Forensic nursing supports and champions tracking of rape kits to demonstrate accountability to sexual assault, survivors having the courage to come forward for care and evidence preservation. How pivotal do you think that forensic nursing is to the overall forensic science community? Forensic nursing provides trauma-informed, compassionate care, which establishes a bond of trust, prioritizing the health and welfare of victims of violence while empowering the survivors to choose to participate in the criminal justice process. Empowering survivors is really an important piece of yes. this. Um, yes. When you're talking about forensic nursing, what do you think one of the biggest misconceptions is? Oftentimes, forensic nursing assumed to be, is assumed to be for the post-mortem environment. Forensic nursing responds to living victims of crime, such as adult and pediatric sexual assault, el elderly maltreatment, um, interpersonal violence, um, stabbing victims, gunshot victims, even mass disasters. Forensic nursing also practices in the field of death investigation. Uh, so forensic nursing um, can be for those living and for those deceased. Another misconception is that the clinical forensic nurse is an agent of law enforcement. Forensic nursing cares for patients when there is a health and legal intersect. And for the forensic nurse, the patient's health is the priority. And I know that you have a, an interesting background. You have a background in, in general nursing and then you Forensic nursing kind of caught your attention. Why, why, what was it about forensic nursing for you personally? Um, you well, this patient population I feel is very underserved. Um, the sexual assault patient, I find people typically don't want to get involved. Um, it's been my experience. And so because of that, I feel, um, I feel moved and called to be um, a servant of these patients, and I, I think they're the bravest, strongest people that I have ever, I ever have the honor of meeting. And you talk about, when we talk about those rape kits, that has been a huge issue. And so hearing that um, there are being steps being taken mm -hmm. to resolve that issue, yes. and that that is one of your passions, I think yes. that's very yes. admirable. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. It's You're nice welcome. to talk to you. Thank you, it was very nice meeting you. Thank you.